Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In this lesson number five, we will go through tweaking the size of the t-shirt that we have here. So let's go ahead and work on it. First of all, I have to tweak the sides of uh, the front, then I will go to the back and then the collar and the sleeve. So first of all, what I need to do here is that I have to take my edit pattern tool and simple, I just have to move this part, this point. Okay. Sometimes you have to double click on it and sometimes you have to deselect everything and then click on it. Then it will be fine because it's quite annoying when it works. Now here, I don't want a, you know, a, like a small or you can say a narrow curve. I want a deep curve. So that's what I will do here. Okay. And I think that's enough here. And apart from that, let's move this uh, shoulder a little bit down. And neck a little bit up. And also I want it to be a little bit more deeper. Okay, and I think the width is fine for now. Same thing, what I will do is at the back. Now at the back, you can see this is flat. What we can do is that instead of making it flat, we can just lower down from this part. Okay. Uh, let me undo that. The reason is that because I wanted to make it or straight, yep, with the shift key, then move it down with the help of shift key so it can go straight down. Okay. Then something like this sort of a curve. And here as well. Here I want a sharp curve instead of a smooth curve that is going, uh, that's coming out of here. So what I can do here is that I can press Alt on my keyboard and just move one handle instead of both of the handles, just like in Photoshop, the way you work in Photoshop exactly the same way you can work it, work on it here. Okay. And this I can move it a little bit more down. Okay, and same as here, a little bit more deeper curve instead of small curve. Same height as this, same height as this. This guidelines helps you a lot. So, okay, and from here, I want to keep it straight. And we're done with the front and the back part, so let's simulate this for now. Seems good. Now what we need here is that to make this collar a little wider. Let's 
Let's do void. Okay, seems okay now. Now here, what I'm going to do is that move these points down. Okay, so they can be there can be a nice looking curve. And move these something like here. So what now I can do is that first fix this half and forget about this half. Okay. So I will just fix the way I want this part. Okay. And once I'm satisfied with it, okay, I can take the smooth curve tool and try to smooth this this one clear uh, like and edit curve point. Yeah, so that's I think that's fine. Or let's delete this one here. The reason is that I can add a point here. Uniform split and with the edit pattern I can play with this one. Move it down. And then I can make this curve. Oops. Click on it. And then I'm using smooth curve and then I have clicked on the point with the smooth curved and as much smoother you want it to be, you can move it. That's it. Okay. Done. Okay. Now this is how I want this to be. And then with the edit pattern tuned, I can move this one slightly up this one. Let deselect. Okay, now this entirely uh, is like a bad part and this is a good part. So I want to copy this part on this side. So what I can do, I need a, you can say a straight line or a cut line or an internal line in the middle. So how to create an internal line? First of all, let, let's add a point here in the middle. Right click, uniform split. Once you have this, then you can go here where we have the internal polygon lines. Now, what is this? These are all internal line. You can create a rectangle inside. You can create a circle inside, dart inside. We will go through this in detail, but today we are going to only create a line. So with the internal polygon and internal line, you can create either a polygon or a single line. Okay, so I will create a single line by selecting this. I will click here on this spot. That's why I created this dot, uh, this uh, point here. So as a reference, then I will press shift on my keyboard so I can go straight up. I will click here, done. And I will press enter on my keyboard and then it will be ended the drawing. Okay, now I have this part here. Now what I can do here is that take my edit pattern tool, select this, right click over here, and I can choose cut. As soon as I will press cut, this will cut into two pieces. Okay. And as soon as it will cut into two pieces, the other part will be also, as it is symmetry, it will be cut into two pieces as well. Now I will select this. Okay. Uh, I will take transform pattern tool, select this part and delete it. I will have the single part. 
Now what I can do here is that take my edit pattern tool, select the line which I created this one, right click on it and then I can choose unfold. If I will choose unfold, it will take this half and flip it over here to this side. Clear? And this is how I will get a good, uh, like a curved symmetrical sleeve because it have to be symmetrical as clothes garments are like perfect, unlike organic or realistic uh, like things in uh, in reality. Okay, so I will just move it down this point to make it a little bit flat from the top. Move it slightly up here, slightly up over here as well. Okay, both 9.10, so they remain the same. Okay, now what I will do here is that I'll take this, press Shift F, and then choose this point, click on it, and then it is done. Okay. Now I have to remove this, uh, like stitches and restitch it. Shift, uh, Shift F again. Okay, I will take my edit sewing tool, click on this sewing, delete it. Okay. And then I will select my M and segment sewing. Okay, I will click on this one. Okay. But now I cannot uh, do with the segment sewing because they all has become segments okay so what i have to do i can still do it but i have to select all of them okay like this and press enter once it is done now i have to choose n and is here and one is here and press enter again so there will be a lot of stitches the best way to do this is, let's undo it. Okay. Instead of using the M and segment sewing tool, I can choose M and free sewing tool. So, first of all, let's see here. Take this uh, select move tool, click over here. And this is where we have to start with. And from where we have to start stitching, this point, which is here, okay? So from here, and then it should end here. So I'll start from here, and then here, and then here. Okay, so I will start from my right part of the sleeve, and slowly I will move to the left part of the sleeve, then start from the front, part of the shirt and then back part of the shirt so that's pretty simple so what I, I will do here is that I will take the M and free sewing tool okay click here and go all the way here without taking bits of the segment just I will draw it uh, with the line and press enter done and now I it, it uh, it's asking okay sorry it's not done Now I press enter. Now it's looking for N uh, tool. Uh, and that's from here, all the way back here again. And then from this side, all the way down here. You can see there is a point here where it should stop. It doesn't matter. I can go a little bit more further. It's okay to be a little, uh, you know, uh, like tighter sleeve. So I will click here, press enter. Now everything is fine. Now only these two have to be stitched. So in this case, what I can do here is that simple. I can take my uh, segment sewing tool from here and stitch here. That's all. And as there were, uh, you know, like uh, you can say, Symmetrical, so that's why it's done on the both sides. But there is one left here, 
And what is this? This is basically the old one. And I don't actually need it now, so I can select and delete this one. Okay. Because I have deleted from the I deleted that from the left side, but I didn't uh, I didn't delete it uh, from the right side. So that's why uh, it remained there. So you can select and delete that. You don't need it. Now if I will press the simulation. Okay, now you can see. That's why I got the shirt here. And then what you can do here is that lightly move these a little bit down here. Okay. Also here and then a little bit here. Good. Okay. So we have tweaked our more uh, sh shirts uh, size and now in the next class we will tweak the these seams okay all the seams that we have on the uh, like front back and those kind of things and also we will do a slight uh like a, a tweak on the sleeves in our other lesson so lesson six we will start with tweaking this these seams and uh, like lesson six, we will tweak the sleeves and the bottom part of the shirt. So I hope you have liked my lesson. And if you guys have liked my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do it and hit the bell icon also. And to support my channel, please watch my videos online and do not download them. Otherwise, I won't get any benefit out of it, which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful. So take care, guys. Stay tuned, stay healthy and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. If you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 